Hey guys, Charlie here from GuitarMasteryMethod.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily memorize the guitar fretboard notes in 7 minutes or less if you're quick. Uh, but first we just have to quickly cover the musical alphabet but this won't take long, I promise. Grab a piece of paper and a pen and take notes during this video. The musical alphabet consists of the letters A through G and those letters are simply the names associated with certain frequencies. There are only 12 notes in music, 12 frequencies, repeated at higher or lower pitches. Here are the 12 notes. A, A sharp and B flat, B, C, C sharp and D flat, D, D sharp and E flat, E, F, F sharp and G flat, G and G sharp and A flat. Notice how some of the notes have two names. These are known as sharps and flats. This is the sharp symbol, meaning higher, and this is the flat symbol, meaning lower. Here are the notes on a piano. Notice how there are no sharps or flats on the white keys. They are all on the black keys. So with two names, how do we know what name to call the note? Well, that depends on what direction we are going. If we were going up the notes, we use sharps. And if we are going down the notes, we use flats. So for instance, if we started on A, then moved up a note, it would be A sharp. Then we move to B, C, C sharp, D, and D sharp. Now if we were going down and we started on the E note, we would be going E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat. So notice how there is no black key between B and C and E and F. This means that there is no sharps and flats between those notes. So it's really important that you remember that, so I will repeat it. There are no sharps and flats between B and C and E and F. The notes are a never-ending cycle that goes both ways. The notes are repeated in things called octaves. An octave is the same note, only a different pitch, higher or lower. So you see here, this is a C note. An octave up is another C note. And another octave up is another C note. All the same notes, just higher or lower. You will learn more about octaves later when we start naming the notes on the fretboard. You want to be able to fluently recite the musical alphabet forwards and backwards. So practice it in your head or on paper whenever you get a chance until you have completely memorized it. Alright, grab your guitar, let's get started. The 7 minutes starts now. So here I'm going to show you an easy way to be able to name all the notes on the fretboard. Okay, I don't have to tell you how beneficial this will be. Okay, so to start out with, you're only going to remember these notes. E, F, G, A, B, C, and D. Okay, so just remember, open string, F on the first fret, and G on the third fret of the lower E string. Pause this video now and go through it. E, F, G. Okay, now, from the fifth fret, that's the A note, the seventh fret is B, and the eighth fret is C. So pause this video and make sure you can go E, F, G, A, B, C. After that, you're going to add in one more note, a D, all on its own on the tenth fret. Okay, so again, you should be able to say E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and put your fingers on the correct frets. Pause the video and just make sure you can do that before moving on. And once you can do that, it starts again right on the 12th fret. So as if that was open, we have E, F, G, and then from 17th fret, as if that was the 5th fret, A, B, C, and on the 22nd fret, D. And if you had a uh, 24th fret guitar, you'd have another E on the 24th fret. 
Okay, so now you should be able to name E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. That's the only memorization you'll actually need to do. After that, you already know another string, which is, of course, the other E string on the bottom. So that just goes along. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and back to E again. Okay, so naming the sharps and flats is really easy because obviously you've learnt the musical alphabet and if I said to you where's G sharp, you know that's just one up from G. You know G is here, so you know G sharp will be here. If I said to you where's C sharp, you know C is here and one up above from that is C sharp. If you said where's B flat, you know B's here, so it's obviously in between B and A, so it's right there. Okay, so now to figure out the other strings, the, other, the no notes on the other strings, all we have to do is just work out the octaves. So if you were trying to figure out a note on the D string, all you have to do is grab that note, do an octave like we've covered, to the E string. So you'll be able to tell me that that note there is an A note. If I said to you what note is this, you just do an octave, you can tell me that that note there is a C note. If I say what note is this, you do an octave to the E, so you know that's an E note. Okay, so pause the video now and just practice naming the notes on the D string. Okay, now what we're going to do is name the notes on the G. Okay, so if I said to you what note is this here, the octave for down here is a little bit different to the ones we covered in the power chord section. Okay, so we have to have an extra fret in the middle. So the octave to the D string looks like that. The octave from the A to the G looks like that. But the last two look like this and this. So you'll find a uh, PDF file that explains this as well in your download package. So if I said to you what note is this, you do an octave to the high E string, you'll be able to tell me that this note is a C note, because you know that, that note is C. If I said what note is this, do an octave, you tell me that this note is an E note. Okay, so now you can name notes on the E, the D, G, and high E. So for the other ones, you have to work out two octaves in a row. So if you want to work out a note on the B string, you play that note, you work out an octave, and then you work out another octave to the E string. So you'll be able to tell me that this note down here is a G note. Okay, and then so to work out notes on the A string, you just play the note, do an octave, and then do an octave again. So you'll be able to tell me that this note is a C note. Okay, so pause the video now and just go through and practice those at the moment. Okay, so it might seem tricky at the moment just grabbing a note and having to figure out the octaves, but once you get the idea and the shape of the octaves in your head, then it's really, really easy. And what you should start to do is instead of actually grabbing the notes and moving to there and then to here, is to try and do it in your head. So just grab the note and visually see that that's the octave there, and then you're going to go to the next one here. Okay, so there is also a link to um, a game that we recommend that you should download that helps you practice this and um, you know, it's just on your computer and so it comes up with a note and you just have to figure out what note it is and you obviously got right and wrong answers. Okay, so obviously you're not going to have something saying you've got the right and wrong answer on the guitar but you should be able to hear it. For instance, if I go this and I accidentally didn't get the octave right, that just doesn't sound right. So you know that you haven't got the octave correct. If you move it to here, you know that it's right. It sounds good. Okay, so that is the secret on how to name all the notes on the fretboard just from memorizing the top string. It does take practice, but as soon as you memorize E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and back to E again, then you can name all of the other notes.
All right, I have a PDF download ready for you to grab from my website for this lesson at guitarmasterymethod.com slash notes. You can, of course, view this on almost any device under the sun, and it will be the perfect thing to recap the whole lesson in a quick glance in case you ever get stuck. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and check out my website for more guitar lessons. Hope you enjoyed this one. Naming the notes on the fretboard will help you tremendously in many ways as you'll find after you get this whole thing locked down. Cheers guys, catch you later.